Welcome back. Our guest, Mr. Sonny Abakwe. You were telling me earlier that you are also a poet. Yes, indeed. You've, you have a book on poetry. And um, how, how, many po how, how many poems are in this book? Uh, oh, there are more than 200 and, different poems. Okay, a variety yes. of poems. Yes. Okay. Tell me, um, what are your poems based on? Like, I write, and my, mostly I do political, mm -hmm. all that. Poems on politics, poems on religion, yes. poems on love, poems on social issues, poems on how to motivate others to achieve, poems on mundane issues of life. Just, just a compendium of poetry, yes. I see. I, I, I read a little bit of this, and again, it's so rich. Um, one particular poet, poem in here that touched me is the, my rain is falling. You, you mind oh, reading oh, oh, sure. a little bit of your? Sure. Oh, how blessed I am. My rain of blessings cloud the open sky. It's ready, sprinkles down, all in pure rays. I am rainbow in a clear dew. I am blessed, my rain is falling down. I am a dot com of the sky, a total launch of a heavy rain. I am going places unhindered by shamed forces of hindrance. I am a victor because I have conquered them by the power of my heavy rain. I am a winner because I am an open rain. I am happy my rain is falling down. That is very touching, Mr. Thank you. Bakwe. Thank you uh, very much. Your rain is falling down. Down, yes. A rain of blessings. A rain of blessings. Yes. It also seemed to me that you are a spiritual man. Yes. You know, um, the use of metaphor of rain to show the blessings uh, that God has given to you. To God be the glory, yes. It almost sounds like a, a triumph moment. Yes. Where finally um, the heavens broke loose, yes. basically. And the rain of blessing came down like a heavy uh, deluge, yes. And I... I think each and every one of us needs that type of moment. Yes. And uh, uh, listening to you um, is inspiring. Oh, thank you. You know, uh, to know, you know, that you can pick up a book like this. Yes. And Wonders, you, you can um, read mm -hmm. something yes. that can l uplift you. Yes. Wonders and everlasting poems. Uh, my fans, when they go to any bookstore, even online, www.amazon.com, mm -hmm. they can just type in the title Wonders and Everlasting Poems, or they can just type in my last name, A-B-A-K-W-U-E. They will be able to get their copies of the book. Yeah, that, that brings me to the point where if someone wants any one of your books, yes. where can I find them? Just uh, go online to Amazon.com or to BurnsandNoble.com. Just type in my last name, A-B-A-K-W-U-E, ask them any books written by S.A. Abakwe, they will get them. Any one of your 20 books? Yeah, any one of them, yes. <laughs> just so go to any bookstore. If they don't have it in stock, they just order it for a person. And some of them are even on print on demand, even on Kindle, my books are there. I see. Yes. Uh, do you have... Um, uh, times where you do um, book signing reading. of books? Oh, yes. I've done some book shows. Um, for example, um, I've done several book shows as a Harvard Coop at Boston Public Libraries and even Cambridge Public Libraries. I have been a guest author on the CCTV in Cambridge, uh, uh, Nashoba Cables, and the, uh, BNN. And the, last year, I was the guest author on the No Busy um, Jordan Rich Show, which reaches uh, millions of people. Right. Yes. Right. 
Hmm. Let me ask you, um, how do you compare yourself to some of the great Nigerian writers? Because you're writing, you're, you're very vast. You, you write fiction, nonfiction, essays, uh, poems. We have, Nigeria has some great writers like Wolo Soinka, uh, Chinua Chobe. Uh, although these are older generation, uh, but for your generation, how you compare yourself with them? Well, um, I don't compare myself though, but you know what? Let me oh, let you, on, you on, a, on, 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 on a, a little secret. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of my fans call me the greatest author, but I say, no, I'm not the greatest. God is great, the greatest. Oh, they call me, they keep on calling me the greatest author, so I don't know. That is very but humble. If I'm the you. greatest author, well, to God be the glory, but I'm still writing. I have 20 books on the market. I'm still young, I'm still writing. So I don't know if they're right. Well, uh, this very uh, greatest uh, boxer in the whole world, um, what's his name, Muhammad Ali, he used to tell the world that he's the greatest. But if my fans call me the greatest, maybe from their mouth to the ears of God, I don't know. But I'm just a simple man from Africa. That's all I see myself. With you writing, are we, do I get a feeling that we'll be seeing you in the movies sometime soon, writing movies? Well, um, there's a film producer in Atlanta, Georgia, who is now reading uh, this very novel, Dead Souls, Devils at the Gate of God. I see. Yes. Um, Dirty Souls. Yes, yes. Okay. He's, he hasn't decided yet, but he got some copies and he's reading it. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's see what happens. I thank you so much. Um, you've taught us so much again, and your poetry, as I said, they're very inspirational. The Abundant Wealth book is also very inspirational, and we've learned quite a, a few things from you today. Um, let me ask you one more thing. Yes. For a young writer, what advice do you have for a, a young writer that wants to write? Well, um, in the field of writing, as I would tell them to go for it. Don't let anything to discourage you. Because I use myself as a case in point. I met a lot of obstacles, but God always has a way of letting me pass through the obstacles. Sometimes I have to wiggle around it until the book gets published. So I would tell the person, go for it. Don't let anything discourage you. So you're saying that persistent That's the key. is the key That's the to key. everything. Yes. And in fact, persistence is the key to success in life. And that is food for thought. Thank you, Mr. Bakwe, for being on the show. And thank you, viewers, for staying with us throughout the show. Stay tuned for more Africa Express.